no, it just threw me on here with no music or developed by, produced by company logos, those things just, just were in here. Okay. Uh, afternoon, everybody. Pause. Hello. Editing Zeno from the future here. Uh, somehow in this video, the noise gate filter in OBS was turned off. Don't know how it happened, but it did. But as a result, my little microphone was just working overtime to pick up every sound in a half mile radius. This includes things like noise clicks, mouth sounds in general. Uh, apparently, sometimes I just breathe heavily like a stalker on the other end of his victim's phone line. So that is a great thing I am learning about myself. Love that for me. Uh, so as a result, this video was a pain in the ass to edit and took much longer than it should have. I tried my best to try and silence any quiet bits that just picked up those things, but there are just some times where stuff does get picked up when I am talking. I apologize for that and just any moment in general that I just... It's slipped through the cracks. Once again, I, I do apologize, but I hope you still enjoy the video. Bye. Today I am playing the free prologue for a game called Slender Threads, and this is a point-and-click horror game about this gentleman right here. I do not know his name, but I do know that he is a traveling book salesman, I believe. And judging by this uh, lovely creature here, he gets... Uh, into probably some spooky troubles. Let's jump in and see what that's all about. Don't make your living selling other people's books when you're trying to write your own. It seems brilliant at first. Immerse yourself in your craft, get a sense for what's popular, Gather moments of inspiration from the unassuming corners of the world. But immersing yourself in anything eventually takes its toll. My guy, you have holes in your shirt. Oh, shit. Oh, you'd think a recurring nightmare would eventually get less, I don't know, nightmarish? No, because I think that's why it's called a recurring oh, I nightmare. A break. Get out of this room for a bit. Pick up the pin, left click for quick action. Right click on an object for more actions. Drag to combine. Wow, we're just really getting into it. Click to use. Use, use object on Harvey. That same nightmare again. I should take a walk to clear my mind. Okay, I guess this is our to-do list. Oh, we're just going to take a copy of that. Okay. Can't. No, not... I don't want to go there. No, no, no. I it hasn't been the most successful sales trip so far. But hey... This town might want the whole pile. You never know. Housekeeping sign. I intended to look at that, but that's fine. No way I'm getting back to sleep right now. Not after that. Oh, yeah, here we go. I was trying to, like, right-click on things, and I... It's here in the corner, for future reverence. You hang it on your door to request cleaning. Yeah, that's how that works. My unpublished manuscript, featuring my bewildered face on the back. Anything else? Plant. Can't imagine plants last long in here. Doesn't seem like it. I mean, assuming there's no window on this wall down here. Should really water it. Oh, what happened here? Judging by the state of my room, I don't want to see this one. All right, I can't imagine. Healthier than the one in my room. I'll give it that much. Well, it has a window. Can't see much at this hour. There are more cigarette butts on the floor than there are in here. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. 
Can we take it? Probably at some point. Not sure if anyone's staying in this room. Healthier than the one in my room. I'll give it that much. I feel like it doesn't take much. See no town maps. Town maps. Don't see any maps though. Always like a good map. I will get <clears throat> lost walking in a straight line. Uh, hello? <clears throat> I know you. Harvey Green, uh, room three? Um, do you have a map of town I can borrow? Hmm. That's odd. People don't usually ask for maps. You're not in the book. Hmm? Or maybe the morning guy forgot to add me when I checked in. <sighs> yeah, maybe. So, map? On the stand behind you. It's literally not there, Stands my guy. Stand's empty. Well then, guess I'm out of maps. Guess so. Thanks. No problem. Helpful gentleman you are. Little touches like this help distract from all the stains. Well, if it isn't the traveling writer, welcome to Villa Ventana. Have we met? Oh, no. But I saw your suitcase full of books burst open on your way into the hotel. And since it sounds like you are indeed a writer, you simply must meet Oswaldo. Who's Oswaldo? Oh, a most charming and riveting storyteller. The life of every party he attends. In fact, he lives just a few doors down from here. Uh, thanks, miss. I'll drop by. Do tell him Gladys says hello. Uh, where are you visiting from? Where are you visiting from? Oh, about five blocks, give or take. You live here? Why are you staying in a hotel? Young man, vacationing is about mindset, not distance. You've traveled much farther than me to be here, but are you on vacation? Uh, good point. You're looking elegant. Maybe too elegant for a place like this. Oh, I know, dear. Sadly, this filthy excuse for a hotel happens to be the only one for miles. Give it a rest, Gladys. I'll give it a rest when you learn how to brew a halfway decent cup of tea. <sighs> Crazy old babe. You love me. <laughs> Take care. Like, I'm all for staycations, but... Not my bags. They're much too nice. Like staycationing from the comfort of my own home. Locked. Okay. The Leonard Bacher Award for Exemplary Hospitality. Who's Leonard Bacher? I am. Now cram it. Did you just write your own awards? <laughs> Looks like keys for each room. Okay. Um. No hotel front desk is complete without a bell. Okay, I guess we got everything we can see here, so... Um, bird. Can we go this way? Oh, hey there, little fella. Where are you? Oh, I didn't mean to skip your dialogue there. Whoa! Oh my god, what the fuck? What the hell was that? You are not nearly alarmed by that. Like, <laughs> like you got spooked, yeah, but like you're not nearly as like, oh, the Welcome to Villa cult Ventana, member in the bushes. Window to a better life. Window? I feel like a door would be more helpful. I haven't heard any trains so far. I wonder if this is abandoned. I mean, he travels around. Maybe it's not the strangest thing he's ever seen. Old neglected barrels and crates. Can't seem to click on other... Oh, sign. Exercise extreme caution when crossing. Why? I haven't seen a single car on the road. Get out of the road! <laughs> Was there a storm recently? Coming up next on Among the Shadows. Murder, 
Scratches on the ground. Radio drama. I haven't heard of this one. And what role will recent arrival Harvey Green play? Oh my god, that's me. Wait, what? Hey, who's in there? How do you know my name? Oswaldo? This isn't funny. I'm going inside. Hello? Just letting ourselves in. This looks abandoned. Or worse. Wait a second, so who's listening to the radio? And where is the radio? I like how he just doesn't assume it's a coincidence that the radio drama character has the same name as him. He's just like, wait, how do you know my name? Who's in there? Doesn't sound like the I don't know why I'm, in there. I don't know why I made that his accent. <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from in there. Oh, it's locked. Why? Because they want to keep their shit private, perhaps? Mr. Walks into houses uninvited? Did Oswaldo board up his own windows? Why? Windows, rug. It's filthy, just like everything else in here. Was there a struggle here? Why else would all these chairs be knocked over? Oh, we can get some scissors. Mm, I need to remember to like look the at things before I just pick them up. covered in newspaper clippings, pictures, and scribbles. But why is there a crossword puzzle in the middle here? And what are these paper scraps stuck around it? Oh boy. Okay, so this is gonna be a thing. The NRA. The Faye NRA. Okay, well, need to. Yeah, we'll mess with this later. We'll probably get some kind of key. Uh... They're surprisingly small and delicate. Okay, you didn't have anything worthwhile to say about them anyway. Uh, so, conspiracy board is a puzzle. Hello, Oswaldo? The front door was open. Is everything okay? Besides the stranger in your house, I mean. Mm. I think it's broken. Excellent observation. Uh, there's gotta be more to... Yeah, okay. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Dining table rug. Can't... Can I open the end table or is he just like... Doesn't sound like yeah. the radio's in there. There could still be something in there. All right, let's get out of here for now. Just a typical mailbox. Looks like it's locked from the inside. Uh, those are fake legs, right? Huh, it's a whole mannequin. A little beat up, but it's in one piece. Maybe I could clean it up and sell it. Oh, okay, that's just a... Just, you often take dumpster mannequins. Can I go in here? No? Sumptuous garments for the discerning elitist. It's closed. A lot of pigeons in this town. I don't think I trust them. First Street or Main Street? I guess we'll go to First Street. I shouldn't street. venture too far from the hotel without a map. Yeah, okay. Could try going back to the, the hotel, see if we can get any more information out of anybody. She told me, the, the lady told me to go visit Oswaldo. Enjoying your stay, dear? I saw some sort of creature at the edge of the forest. Do you have any idea what that might have been? Oh, we'll see the occasional raccoon or skunk. This was bigger than a skunk. It snatched a rabbit and ran away. Ah, a bobcat then. Rare for them to venture so close. Okay, if you say so. Was it dark? Could you not see? That was clearly like a masked hooded person. What, a bobcat? Take care. You joking me? He doesn't seem too keen on chatting. Okay. Let's 
think I'll go ahead and obey the sign. Hmm. Mayhaps. Not going in there. Bad enough that I share a wall with it. Okay. Small town hotel art at its ugliest. Seems appropriate that I'm staying in a room as disheveled as I am. No reason to damage it further. I'm no painting thief. Not going in there. There are more cigarette butts on the floor than there are in here. Hmm. the housekeeping sign on my door? No, they don't want to be disturbed. Okay, well what about... This guest wouldn't mind a bit of tidying, right? Beg this guest. <laughs> Laundry key. Just gonna snatch that, that's fine. It's full of cleaning supplies. Okay. Alrighty. It's the hotel's furnace. Given it's July, it probably hasn't been on for a while. It's off by a few months, and a few years. Clean and dry. Let's see. What, what? Ooh, some of these are sharp. Might help me close a sale or two while I'm here. These are all still wet. Very wet. These are all... Okay. These are... No, I didn't mean to click on that. I was seeing if I could click on the sign there. They're for washing clothes. Any loose change? <sighs> nope. Got a wrench. I don't see the point. It's a nice ensemble. Nicer than what I'm wearing, at least. Not sure where to put that. Do we put these on the mannequin? Like, no. Great. Now the mannequins dress better than I am. Okay. A picture-perfect pile of furnace firewood. Also, housekeeping was very quick to respond. Do I... Do I use the mannequin on the crosswalk? Pretend there's a person. What would that do? I don't know. I've just an idea. Just a thought. Um, so that's closed. We don't have a map. I think it's broken. Do we hit it with a wrench? How would that help? I don't know. I'm just... I'm already trespassing. I'd rather not vandalize. Why? Why is that where you it's draw the filthy. line? The radio's somewhere in this room. No need to snoop further. What? There might be something in there, you absolute dingus. One of those things where I can solve this now, but these all fit in together perfectly, kind of thing.
The remaining oh. letters spell Telltale Heart. In that story, the narrator hides a body under the floor. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration. So, do we gotta bash into the floor? Wait, lift the rug, maybe? There's a crease in the corner of the rug, as mm -hmm. if it's been folded up recently. <sighs> Am I really going to look under there? I have to, right? Of course. Huh? Something down there is reflecting light from the window. It's a key. Okay. Use the key on the desk. This looks like it fits. Stop oh, right there. Okay. Don't move. Good God, what the hell's going on in here? Who are you? What's your name? My name is Harvey Green. I'm in town for business. I'm staying over at the... What business? Uh, books. I sell books. I have a card in my pocket. Uh, can I... Slowly. What's all this on the wall? What have you been doing? Nothing. No, I, I, I don't know what any of this is. Bullshit. It's true. Your news clipper clippings from months ago. I've only been here. For, well, I mean. Some of the newspaper clippings on the wall over there are from months ago. I didn't even know this town existed until the company added it to my route last week. Let's say I believe you. Why are you in here? See, I heard my name on the radio just sounds like crazy person talk. So I was recommended to come by because Oswaldo's a woman at the hotel suggested I meet Oswaldo. Describe her. Older, dressed like she was at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> That's Gladys, all right. Mr. Green, do you have any knowledge of Oswaldo's current whereabouts? No, Sheriff. Then I have a missing person on my hands. <sighs> what if he Listen, just went down the road to Aldi? I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. I do know that if people caught wind, it'd cause a town-wide panic. So you and I- Why? Are because he has a conspiracy person board? I let you walk straight back to your hotel, and you tell no one about what you saw. Say a word or skip town, and I personally escort you to a jail cell. Do we understand each other? Yes, Sheriff. Good. Now get out of here. Shit, shit. Breaking into a house? What was I thinking? Am I losing it? No, I swear I heard my name coming from in there. I didn't imagine it. I, I couldn't have. I mean, you could and have. Even if I did, I couldn't have imagined all that other stuff I saw in there. Yeah, but it has nothing to do I, with I you. I can't just sit in here uh, and theoretically. ignore it. For starters, this is the only interesting thing that's happened in months. To be fair, it's probably a really good uh, book idea. Okay. Oh, Gladys. Enjoying your stay, dear? I dropped by Oswaldo's house. Oh, lovely, dear. How is he? He's, um, he was out. You creative types are always off making mischief. <laughs> So one thing I would suggest, not that the devs watch my videos, I'm not that arrogant, but one thing I would I would like to see from the full release is maybe a difference in the text, maybe a glow to it indicating we haven't chosen that specific text. Because I will forget. <laughs> Take care. Just an idea that I'd like to see. He doesn't seem too keen on chatting. Okay, do I have to try and get back in? Like, I put clothes on a mannequin. That has to be for some reason. Hello, big guy. Good evening, officer. Evening, mister... Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met. My name's ha uh, Hugo. Victor Hugo. I'm a tourist. A tourist? Huh. We don't get many of those. Well, welcome to Villa Ventana, Mr. Hugo. Stay out of trouble and all that. W uh, what happened in there? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, Mr. Hugo. Scene's still under investigation. As in 
crime scene? Well, that's what the sheriff's gonna figure out in the morning. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said that even. Is it safe for me to be out at this hour? Are you keeping out of the crosswalk over there? Uh, yes. Then you're fine. What's so dangerous about it? I wish I knew. Almost every time we're called out, it's because some pedestrian got hit. Hmm. An enormous creature jumped out at me at the edge of the woods. Ha! <laughs> First time in deer country, Mr. Hugo. This was no deer. It was brown. Like a like deer. A deer. <laughs> totally silent. Like a deer. You don't understand. It. Relax, Mr. Hugo. You're not the first to get spooked. I promise the deer will leave you alone if you give them the same courtesy. Stay safe. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Do we throw it in here and be like, oh my god, there's a body in this dumpster? No? He didn't. Usually he comments, but no. So was I right before about throwing the body at the crosswalk? And it just didn't work because I couldn't I shouldn't do it yet. I'm gonna laugh if this works. This should look like the real deal to that cop. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! Shit that wasn't supposed oh. oh god, what if I Oh I I know this man. You do? From my... What? <sighs> oh, what? Oh, good lord! Did you see what happened, Mr. Hugo? I... I, I didn't. I, I heard a crash, and, um... This damn crosswalk! Sign's useless! Get back to your hotel, Mr. Hugo. I'll call an ambulance. Yes, officer. What the fudge, monkeys? Don't mind me, sir. Just gonna wander off this way in my shocked stupor. If I keep it down, hopefully he won't even realize. The radio Oops. should still be in that desk. Time to take a look. And I didn't mean to skip that, but yeah. What in the world? Okay. There it is. And it's turned off? How? Batteries Whatever. died? I need to find that station. You said to keep it down, you big goober. No light, no shadows, Oswaldo. No light, no shadows. No light, no shadows. No light, no... Coming up next. You are <laughs> No, it's happening. I have to warn Lena. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, what did I just... Uh, that was him. He was right in front of me, and, and that thing just took him. What did you find, Oswaldo? What did we just find? Like... Okay, map, fantastic. Ashtray... Diary. Oswaldo's Diary. Hmm. There's several references to a Lena. Must be the same Lena he mentioned in that vision. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I imagine it'll be easier than finding Oswaldo. Okay. Lena wasn't at book club, so I stopped by after. She opened the door the instant I knocked and asked if I felt the pool that brought me. What the hell does that mean? Hope she just has a fever. Uh, the pool of what? I was so concerned for Elena, so I checked in on her. Why can't I stop thinking about this? I need to talk to her again. She opened the door and asked the same question. Suddenly I realized the answer was yes. She brought me inside and told... No, I shouldn't write it down. Uh, can't shake the suspicion that she's right. Need to know for sure. Brought, so ho brought home everything the town or archives would part with. Need to cancel plans. It's true. It's got to be. So many flukes, so many coincidences were caused by some force moving pieces into place. Is that same force causing me to discover this? How could I even tell? Went to Lena's to share my findings, but no answer. A neighbor told me what happened. I must find a way to reach her, but carefully. If I'm right, even listening to the radio is a threat. I can't drop my guard for a moment. 
This is a game of light and shadows. Our actions each cast a light, each light it, each light in turn casting a shadow. Somehow those shadows can bend the light that casts them. It follows that I must cast no light. I'm getting too close. I must be vigilant. No light, no shadows. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Did the radio cause my vision of Oswaldo? How? Can we mess with it Did again? The ra nope. Yeah, okay. I guess that's it for the desk then. Shit. That cop is back. I need to find another way out. Uh, do we go out through the bathroom? Classic bathroom sink. Classic. Pretty boring assortment of magazines, especially given what's in the other room. Old, tattered, and crusty. Ugh. Is that pee? Did you piddle, Oswaldo? Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. So we have a map. So I guess we can go down First Street here. probably be the better thing to do. Especially since each street seems to end in a dead end. Coming soon, Villa Condos. Mm. Wonder how long these have been coming soon. Yeah. Trash. Ugh, I can smell it from here. House for sale. Ooh. House for sale. Open house today. Charmingly rustic cottage featuring old world charm and new world financing options. Is it haunted? Hello? Does any house in this town have people in it? This one does now. Oh my God. <laughs> what the Fosco Moretti? Realtor. Licensed and accredited. And to whom do I have the pleasure of showing this magnificent piece of real estate? Oh, ho, ho, I am not in the market for a... Oh, ho, ho. Everybody's in the market, my friend. Some of us are just standing a little closer to the register. Your name? Uh, Harvey. Well, I have to say, Mr. Harvey, seeing you here in this immaculately tiled parlor, I see a man of purpose. Am I wrong? I have a job, if that's what you mean. Not a job, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> a calling, a yearning from within. You, Mr. Harvey, you aspire. I suppose I'm writing a... An author! My God, I stand in the presence of a modern-day Hemingway! You know he's still alive, right? Mr. Harvey, you must agree that every great writer requires an equally great writing environment. I, uh... Where do you currently do your writing? Wait, hold on. I have to Google if Hemingway's alive. Okay, no. He died in 1961, so this game takes place... In the past. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way Ernest Hemingway is live in the year of our Lord 2024. In cafes, mostly. Oh, cafes. Oh, boisterous, chaotic. How do you even put a single word to paper? No, no, that won't do at all. What an artist like you needs, Mr. Harvey, is a house. But not just any house. This house. This house? <laughs> okay, listen, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm definitely not buying this house, and I definitely don't want you assuming otherwise. I understand, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. You just need a little more time to see what I see. I'm just here for the free uh, cheese is... plate. That you and our sleepy little town are destined for each other. And when you come to that realization, I will be here. I promise you'll be the first to know. Okay. Mm, picture frames. A bunch of picture frames with no pictures. 
ready and waiting to hold and display your most cherished memories. Please don't disturb the basket, Mr. Harvey. Those goods are reserved for the buyer, whoever she or he happens to be. Am I going to have to distract you to take the the gift basket? It's a Schlegelman upright, yes. Impeccable eye, Mr. Harvey. What gave it away? The understated perfectly joined paneling? Or the iconic front legs? I was just going to say it's a piano. Ah, Indeed it is, Mr. Harvey. Indeed it is. Okay, let's see what's in the other room real quick. I guess the bar is a nice feature. Much more for you than for me. What do you mean? Your torso extends above it. For his eye. Uh, Questions nope. about the residence, Mr. Harvey? Didn't mean to talk to you, but it probably should. Why is the house for sale? Did somebody move out? In a sense. They died, didn't they? In every sense. Foul play? Hardly. The man was over 90. We were starting to take bets on when he'd keel over. How's business? A lot of turnover around here? Just enough to keep me afloat. At least there's no competition. <laughs> Most of the families in this town have been here for generation upon generation. Newcomers are rather... Uncommon. <laughs> Welcome, of course, but uncommon. Do you know the address of a woman named Lena? I know the address of most everyone in town, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> but I fear I can't divulge such information. Mm. Why not? I am privy to it solely for official property matters. City Hall would have my head were I to violate my sacred realtor's oath. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, done and with don't that. Let me rush you. Bedroom. Kitchen. I'm afraid that's locked. And empty. If it's empty, why is it locked? Well, at the previous open house, a devilish little girl hid in there and promptly fell asleep. Had half the town out looking for her when she popped out looking right as rain. The usual kitchen equipment. Ooh, oven seen better days. Works just the same. Heat is heat, after all. I suppose that's true. You're not wrong. Okay, let's go check out this bedroom. Closet looks a little small. An optical illusion, Mr. Harvey, I assure you. This closet features no fewer than 200 cubic feet of space. I was almost inclined to list it as a second bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have more experience with closet sizes than I do. You flatter me, sir. Someone left some lotions and cologne here. Guilty. A realtor must look and smell his best. Can't look at the bed. Okay. Like, do we lock him in something? Do we... It's like, we get him to go behind the bar where he can't see us? If I go up there, the realtor will pester me even harder about buying. Hmm. I'm all ears, Mr. Harvey. Uh, don't let me... Okay. Um. Looks like a decent... Maybe we come back here. There. Looks like it's closed right now. I don't feel sick anyway. You don't feel sick after seeing a man fly through a windshield and then have a vision of his severed head on a wall next to yours that didn't make you feel a little queasy or weird. It sounds like something's back there. Ah! <laughs> Nothing but garbage. You never know what's in garbage that might be useful. Oh, hello. Evening, sir. Evening. W what is this house? Sir. 
you stand at the majestic wrought iron gates of the Villa Ventana Sportsman Society. The what now? It's a hoity-toity hunting club. <laughs> Can I take a look around the grounds? I'm doing some sightseeing. At the moment? Absolutely not. However, in a few hours' time, the estate will host a soiree that is open to the public. If you care to explore, that will be the ideal and legal time to do so. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Pretty sure this is the end of the map, yeah. Nothing to see beyond here. Oh, cool, we can fast travel. Fantastic. Okay. Central. There we go. Central Street. Stefano's. Owen and Son's General Store. Probably closed. The sweet, sweet. It's closed. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Evening, friend. Care for a motor tour? Motor tour? Like a regular tour, but with a little something extra. You mean a motorcycle? Bingo! Okay. What's the tour route? Right up Ventana Hill. Killer views up there, along with our observatory. And then back down, I assume? Oh, walking back down's half the fun. It's the getting up there part that needs a little extra horsepower. Are you sure that thing's safe? You kidding? Villa Ventana's streets are some of the safest around. That's you know, not true. Besides the deadly and gruesome car accident earlier this evening. <laughs> oh, there there was a car accident? You didn't hear it? It was a block or so that way toward the hotel. Couldn't tell whose car it was, but I could tell they didn't make it. I thought all the talk about that crosswalk was garbage. Now I'm not so sure. Do you know a person named Lena? Lena? Hmm, maybe rings a bell. Don't think I've met her. Okay, thanks. Hmm, okay. Yeah, sure. All right, I'll do the tour. Great. Now, as to the small matter of... Oh, pay... yeah, we have to pay for these things. <laughs> I'm strapped at the moment. Any chance I could ride for free? By any chance, do you mean zero chance? Mm, no. Then no. Okay. Uh... I'm good for now. You're missing out. I'm usually booked solid on an evening this nice. I'm sure you are. Okay. So I guess we'll need some monies. Take that tour to get up to the observatory. Oh well, City Hall's open. this room uses an organizational system, I'm not seeing it. If this room uses a complete mess of books, binders, and historical artifacts. A complete... Oh, okay. It's just as cluttered as the shelves. But is there anything I can pick up? It's just... No? Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, what's... Just finding Lena. Okay. Wonder if they're replicas or the real deal. Historical documents from the town's early years, letters and contracts and the like. It's the first construction paper settlers arriving in construction paper Villa Ventana. Oh. An old treasure map. Uh -huh. Maybe this town used to be a pirate refuge. It's a dusty wax statue of some old leader. The town's founder, maybe. Ugh, sticking to my finger. I'm surprised it hasn't melted. It's a badly printed replica of the original town charter. Wait, did they really put don't eat the mushrooms in their founding document? <laughs> Does that mean we're going to eat some mushrooms? Jaunty. Or do we melt this statue at some point? Hello. Oh, that's creepy. Restrooms for city employees only. What? No, I don't need to use the restroom. Then why on earth did you come in here? 
Is this City Hall? Last I checked. When was that? When my shift started about, I don't know, a thousand years ago. Is this city La when was when my oops has a man named Oswaldo been here recently? Not recently enough. He's late. Late. He checked out a pile of old newspapers yeah. from the archives. I made it very clear that he had to return them within three days. Haven't seen him since. Cheap bastard probably used them for kindling. I'm in town for work and thought I'd see the sights. Uh huh. And which site were you interested in seeing exactly? The cabinet jammed with unsorted census surveys? I, I don't know. The building looked big. Figured there'd be something to look at. If you're that desperate for something to do, there's a little Villa Ventana Museum one room over. I already been there. Don't been bother there, done telling that. me the exhibits are falling apart. I already know, and I already don't care. I'm looking for the address of... Credentials? I beg your pardon? All requests from municipal residential data require valid authentication from the requesting party. Um, I beg your pardon again? <sighs> I need proof that you're allowed to view town housing records. So, you got proof or not? Oh, I, uh, left it at home. I I'll be back. I'm sure you will. Okay. Don't be a stranger. I need money for a tour, some kind of fake credentials to get Lena's address. Oh, hello. What do you have? What do you got? Hot dogs. Anything else? Things that go on hot dogs? How eclectic. Very uh, stupid. I think I'm all out of eclectics. I ask a hot dog vendor, do you have anything other than hot dogs? Selling a lot of hot dogs? Not yet. Waiting for folks to start stumbling out of the bar. After a few rounds, these things go straight from suspicious to delicious. <laughs> you speak the truth. Isn't it about time to wash that apron? Hell no. Gotta keep expectations low. If I look clean, the hot dogs look even filthier <laughs> by comparison. Hey, is there a woman in town named Lena? Lena? Oh, sure. I don't see her too often. She's a vegetarian. Do you know where she lives? Sure don't. Someone over there in City Hall should, though. Hmm. Right. Thanks. Bye-bye, hot oh. dog man. That was the last option, anyway. Uh, guess I go... Vino Ventana. Do we not go into the bar? Oh, there's a casino. I can go into the casino. Why can't I go into the bar? Not really in the mood for a drink. You could talk to someone who maybe knows Lena and could give you information, you dork. Oh god, there's a lot of people in here. Oh, okay, well, glad I did that. If I had any money on me, this would be a great way to lose it. If I had any- Oh, I thought I could talk to the lady. Eh. The most worked up you'll ever see adults get over a marble. If you aren't the one loading the dice, they're probably loaded against you. I can't talk to anybody. I can talk to you. Cashing in or out? Cashing in. Excellent, sir. Your funds? Uh, funds? Do you accept Money, pocket sir. lint? For your chips? Oh, right. Money. You do have money, yes? If you don't, I must... Oh, no, of course I do. It's in my other wallet. I'll be back. Okay. Well, at least we have some matches for whatever good that does us. Evening. Obviously. Randolph, don't be rude to the wino. He looks like he's had a rough life. <laughs> that is. How's the coffee? Mm. Tepid, bitter, and cheap. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. Don't be. That's how she likes it. You know a divorce lawyer? Mm. 
Where would you go? Your mother's? Evening. Obvi- Re Encouraging to see at least one person with a book. Just gonna not bother him. That's nice of you. I hate it, like, when I'm, like, on my lunch break and I'm trying to read or something and someone comes up and tries to talk to me. It's like, I, there's, I'm doing this for a reason. It's, it's not to talk to you. Yes? My name is Harvey Green, and I'm a salesman with McGinty. I'd love to- McGinty? I don't recall their ever sending someone out this way. I believe they haven't, ma'am. I'm here to test the waters, so to speak. How are the waters so far? Murky. Lukewarm. That too. <laughs> Not surprised. Wouldn't say the neighboring towns are known for their readers. <laughs> You'd like to sell to me, then? Oh, why not, Mr. Graham? Green. Bring your samples along tomorrow, and I'll take a look. I appreciate it, Mrs... Oh, Pamela's fine. Pamela. All right, thank you. Was there anything else? Uh, that's business. Move a lot of books lately? Can't complain. Business can't be that bad when there's no competition. <laughs> Only bookstore in town, huh? Great. Others pop up now and then. They all go under trying to compete with the sweet old lady. <laughs> Why did you giggle? Like, do you poison them? <laughs> do you do anything special to bring people in? Oh, plenty. You'll notice the sale bins for starters. We also have a couple of accomplished authors right here in Villa Ventana. I bring them in for readings and signings and the like. Tomorrow we'll be hosting Paul Frey. Ever heard of him? Real heady type. I happen to be a bit of an author myself, and, uh... Oh, you must forgive me. It's been a long day. If you have something for me to read, could it wait until tomorrow? Oh, uh, right. Certainly. Okay. Feel free to browse. 50 cents and 30 cents? Oh my god. Of course these are on sale. <laughs> Never even heard of most of them. Oh, can we take the umbrella? We can. Just gonna take this. It's fine. Decent selection, but a bit dated. Might actually be able to sell some books here. Tonight, local author Paul Frey reads from his latest novel. Like... Tonight tonight or tomorrow tonight? <laughs> Can't seem to go in. Sorry, pal. This whole part of town's under construction. Wow, that sounds like a pretty major development project. Tell me about it. That it, Mookie. Okay. <laughs> um Oh, so I can't go any further. Oh. Maybe... Oh. Oh, wait, can we go any further this way? Nope. Stops the bushes. Maybe we can go to sleep. And Gladys is gone. I like how we just left our door open. My nerves are too shot to sleep. Really? Hmm. A book of matches from the casino. Classic black. Okay, so I need to get money for various purposes. I need to get, like, fake, I assume faked credentials to figure out where Lena lives. Hmm. What place they got the car gone? Hey, officer. Let's get back to your hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Didn't mean to click on that and skip you, I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Do I go back to the open house? Nope. Oh. Can I lock you in the closet? Uh, about this closet. The largest you've ever seen, wouldn't you say? I'm not so sure. I don't think I could fit much in there. A skeptic? <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Allow me then to demonstrate. Just one side of this closet can house a full-bodied man such as myself, with space to spare. I'm pretty sure I could do a card... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it! I didn't mean to skip his dialogue there. I just wasn't sure if this would be time sensitive. What in the... Mr. Harvey, uh, the door appears to be jammed. <laughs> Could I trouble you for assistance? Uh-oh, it's really stuck. But oh, Scooby. Right. Very common with these older units. <laughs> Try sliding this into the latch, would you please? It's not working. Uh, hold tight. I'm gonna go get help. Oh, um, all right. <laughs> Please do hurry, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> Spacious though it is, I fear I failed to inspect this closet for mm, bugs and such. <laughs> so we got credentials. We didn't have to make fake credentials. We just are using his. I'm not much for cigars, but a cigar cutter might come in handy. Okay, so that's definitely not us. Do we use the scissors on our I'll book? I'll just cut my photo off the back yep. cover. I have plenty more copies of this thing. And then... I need something to stick it on there. Do we use the wax? Here. Like, do I just rub it on there? This wax isn't quite sticky enough to stay on. No... I need to melt it. It's like a tiny guillotine. Do we cut off a piece? I don't follow. Your pointing days are at an end, I'm afraid. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we can't just remove the wax like isn't a glue stick enough to stay on there. Maybe if I heated it first. A match isn't enough to melt it. Uh, the oven? Let's see. Come on. There we go. That's really going. Probably blow over it just a hair. Melt the finger. Yep, gross. <laughs> that looks really questionable. I've stuck the wax to the back of the photo. I'll consider it a minor miracle. This fools anyone. Okay, do we? The stove's lit. Yeah, should we turn it off maybe? No, it's fine. Hello, I'm a realtor. Found my badge. It was under my bed. Hand it over. <sighs> was that really so hard? Now what was it that you even needed? The address of a woman named Lena. Last name? Um, not sure. The telegram with the requisition was smudged. Ah, <sighs> typical. Just a moment. Ah, oh, it's always something with these guys. Where the hell was that binder? Lucky for you, there's only one Lena in our records. Oh, you convenient. have a nap? There you go. And hey, what a coincidence, it's finally quitting time. Wait, uh, which side of the street is... <laughs> Never mind, I'll figure it out. Well, it's raining now. Oh, I should have held on to that umbrella. I better hurry. This has to be the place. 
Seems obvious now that I'm here. I don't see anyone around, including the sheriff. Time to get some answers. Hello? Lena? No one's here, as usual. Oh, okay. Lena? Interesting wallpaper this looks job. New, at least compared to everything else in here. Drafty and unremarkable. Just like me. Uh, can't go in there. Radio? Another radio? Could it show me what happened in here? Only one way to find out. Now, where are you, Lena? Help! Oh, God. Let me go! I can't help you! I, I see... Strands. It's something. Something's coming. Something's coming! To kill us all! Harvey! Oh, oh, uh, okay. Wow. Whoa, okay. Add the game to your wishlist. Yeah, for sure. I think I already have, but yeah. Okay, that was the prologue for Slender Threads. I think as of right now, there is not a release date, but I will definitely be looking forward to that because I'm very, very interested to see where things go. Yeah. Thank you all so, so much for watching the video if you've made it this far, or even if you didn't. You'll never hear this, but I appreciate you. Uh, like and subscribe, if I can say the word right. Uh, subscribe if you're into that kind of thing, and, you know, leave a comment with your thoughts and stuff. Let's talk about stuff. Uh, that's it for me, for now. I will see you in the next one. Bye!